In the crucible of Silicon Valley, where the stories of giants like Apple and Google dominate the headlines, there lie the untold sagas of the true architects of the digital age. Companies like Synopsys and Arm. Though not household names, they have silently woven the very fabric of our digital existence. Digital Titans, the power players behind the scenes of Silicon Valley. Chapter one, the undercurrents of innovation. Synopsys, a titan in electronic design automation, began as the vision of Art de Gauss, a man of sharp intellect and relentless drive who saw the potential for software to revolutionize chip design long before it was a mainstream idea. In the early days, he faced skepticism and financial hurdles, navigating the treacherous waters of the tech industry with a single-minded determination. The company's software was instrumental in creating complex semiconductor chips, yet its contributions remained largely unrecognized by the public. But within the industry, it was a different story. The company became synonymous with innovation, its tools enabling the creation of smaller, more powerful chips that would become the heartbeat of the digital world. But there was another extraordinary story developing, the rise of ARM Holdings, a company whose impact on modern technology is profound yet understated. Robin Saxby, a visionary in his own right, led ARM in its quest to redefine the microprocessor industry. ARM's architectures, designed to be efficient and power-saving, were a stark contrast to the prevailing designs of the time. This was a game-changer for mobile technology. As smartphones became ubiquitous, ARM's architectures were there, hidden in plain sight within the devices millions held in their hands. The company's technology became the standard, propelling the mobile revolution forward at an unprecedented pace. Both Synopsys and ARM operated in realms where their work was understood by few, but impacted many. They navigated a landscape of intense competition, rapid technological change, and high stakes. For the founders, the journey was perilous. They battled intellectual property disputes, fierce industry rivals, and the constant pressure to innovate or be left behind. Yet they persisted, driven by a belief in their vision and the potential of their work to change the world. The drama of Silicon Valley is not just in the products it produces, but in the stories of those who build them. Through their resilience and innovation, they have shaped our digital era in ways that are profound and far-reaching. They have enabled advancements that have redefined industries, reshaped economies, and transformed daily life. Yet, as influential as they are, they remain in the background, the silent forces propelling us into the future. As the digital landscape continues to evolve, their legacy serves as a reminder that the most profound impacts often come from where we least expect. The undercurrents of innovation continue to flow, silent but powerful, shaping the future in ways we can only begin to imagine. Chapter 2. The Silent Empire Builders Beneath the glossy veneer of Silicon Valley's most publicized success stories, a different breed of empire builders was forging its path. In the shadows of this famed valley, Splunk and Atlassian, two seemingly inconspicuous players, were quietly orchestrating a revolution that would underpin the operations of countless businesses worldwide. Splunk emerged as a beacon in the realm of big data analytics, an area growing more crucial by the day. The company's software, designed to ingest and make sense of massive volumes of data, became an indispensable tool in an era increasingly driven by information. Under the leadership of Godfrey Sullivan and later Doug Merritt, Splunk ventured into uncharted territories, transforming the way organizations understood their data. Its platform allowed for real-time processing and analysis, turning the abstract and unwieldy into the tangible and actionable. Yet, as Splunk's influence grew, so did the complexity of its challenges. The company had to navigate not just the technical intricacies of its domain, but also the ethical quagmires that came with the power to understand data at such a scale. Parallel to Splunk's ascent was the rise of Atlassian, a company that would redefine the very nature of collaboration and productivity in the business world. Founded by Mike Cannon-Brooks and Scott Farquhar, two driven individuals from Australia, 
Atlassian shunned the traditional Silicon Valley playbook. There were no lavish launch parties or aggressive sales teams. Instead, Atlassian focused on building robust, reliable tools that spoke for themselves. Products like Jira and Confluence became the silent workhorses in organizations, facilitating collaboration, tracking, and efficiency. The impact of Atlassian was in its ubiquity, the quiet yet profound influence it wielded across industries. Yet, the paths of Splunk and Atlassian were not without their shadows. As their influence grew, so did the scrutiny and the stakes. The companies found themselves at the center of intense debates over privacy, security, and the ethical use of technology. They navigated a landscape where every strategic move could have far-reaching implications, and every decision was a balance between innovation, ambition, and responsibility. The stories of Splunk and Atlassian are a testament to the silent empire builders of Silicon Valley. They are narratives of companies that, despite not being household names, have an outsized impact on the world. Their journeys are filled with the drama of navigating uncharted waters, the thrill of breakthroughs, and the constant pulsating pressure to stay ahead in a world that never sleeps. As these silent empire builders continue to shape the foundations of industries and redefine the boundaries of what's possible, they remind us of the profound influence that can be wielded from the shadows. And as we turn our gaze to the future, we are left to ponder the unseen forces that will drive the next chapter of innovation and the new empires that will rise, quietly but powerfully, in the ever-evolving landscape of Silicon Valley. Chapter 3. The Invisible Wars In the high-stakes arena of technological innovation, Qualcomm and Micron Technology stood as gladiators, their battles less visible to the public eye, but no less ferocious. These companies, pivotal yet not always in the limelight, fought not just for market dominance, but for the very essence of the future they were helping to shape. Qualcomm, a titan in telecommunications and semiconductors, was more than just a company. It was a battlefield where the wars over patents and technological supremacy were fought with a fervor as intense as any political struggle. The engineers and executives within Qualcomm were not just employees, they were warriors. Each breakthrough in CDMA technology, or each advance in Snapdragon processors was a hard-fought victory. The company's relentless pursuit of innovation often put it at odds with competitors and regulators alike, embroiling it in conflicts that would shape the industry's landscape. Every lawsuit over patents, every negotiation over licensing fees, was a skirmish in a larger war one that had profound implications for the future of communication worldwide. Meanwhile, Micron Technology, a leader in memory and storage solutions, was engaged in its own covert battles. In the world of technology, memory is akin to the lifeblood that powers everything from the smallest devices to the largest data centers. As such, the stakes in Micron's world were astronomically high. The company's journey was marked by intense competition, particularly from overseas rivals, and the battleground was often the courtroom as much as the marketplace. The engineers at Micron were not just creating memory chips, they were defending their territory in a global arena, understanding that each innovation in DRAM or NAND technology was a step towards securing their future. The sacrifices made by the individuals within these companies were immense. Long hours, relentless pressure, and the constant shadow of failure loomed over them. Yet, they persevered, driven by a belief in their work's importance and the knowledge that they were part of something much larger than themselves. They were the unseen architects of the future, their battles not just for profit or market share, but for their vision of what the world could become. The invisible wars of Qualcomm and Micron were emblematic of a larger conflict, one that encompassed the entire tech industry. It was a war of innovation, a relentless march toward the future, marked by brief moments of triumph and long periods of struggle. The outcomes of these battles shaped the technology in our pockets, the data in the cloud, and the unseen infrastructure that underpins our digital world. The warriors of Qualcomm and Micron, and companies like them, continue to fight. Their eyes fixed on the horizon, understanding that the future is not just something to be predicted, 
but something to be built, chip by chip, patent by patent, idea by idea. And as they forge ahead, the world watches, waiting to see what shape the future will take, knowing that the battles fought in the shadows will determine the light of tomorrow. Chapter 4. Pioneers of the Uncharted. Intuitive Surgical and Gilead Sciences, though operating in vastly different realms of healthcare, have each taken up the mantle of pioneer, navigating uncharted territories where technology and human well-being intersect. Their journeys are not just narratives of corporate success, but sagas of innovation, ethics, and the relentless pursuit of progress. Intuitive Surgical, with its Da Vinci Surgical Systems, has ushered in a new era in medicine. The company's robotic-assisted platforms have transformed the operating room, allowing surgeons to perform complex procedures with unprecedented precision and control. The Da Vinci system, a marvel of engineering and computer science, translates a surgeon's hand movements into smaller, more precise movements of tiny instruments inside the patient's body. This technology has not only enhanced surgical capabilities, but has also dramatically reduced recovery times for patients, revolutionizing expectations for medical outcomes. Simultaneously, Gilead Sciences has been at the forefront of the biopharmaceutical industry, developing treatments that have changed the course of diseases once thought untreatable. Their antiviral therapies have turned HIV from a death sentence into a manageable condition for many and have offered hope in the fight against other insidious diseases like hepatitis C. The molecules and compounds developed by Gilead are more than just drugs. They are lifelines for millions around the globe. The leaders and engineers behind Intuitive Surgical and Gilead Sciences are not just building companies. They are shaping the future of human health. Their work at the intersection of technology and biology of data and life represents the next frontier of human innovation. They are driven by the belief that with the right combination of technology, insight, and ethics, the boundaries of what is medically possible can be expanded in ways that were once unimaginable. The new challenges that await the titans of Silicon Valley and beyond are not just technological, but moral. Not just economic, but existential. The future they are building is one that we will all inhabit. And as they venture into the unknown, they carry with them not just the hopes of their shareholders, but the hopes of humanity.